firmware 1.40. It's now nearly December 2023. This is the Japan firmware. I'm going to put it into my Europe 7610 E model. SD card is in. We'll go menu, set. Let's look at the version we've got, others. Information, tap, 1.30, back out. Now we're going to go up to SD card. Go to firmware update. You get the warning, go down, click yes. There's the firmware showing up, 1.40, tap. And then do you want to start updating? You hold your finger on. It's now updating. Sub CPU firmware, main CPU. Doing this live. Fantastic radio. This is actually a brand new model. I took it out of the box about one hour ago. So there's quite a few updates to this one. Uh, they do talk about this, this new item. Just looking it up now. DPD, I'm not sure if it's working, but it says here, prior adjustments is required to use the DPD function. So we'll have to learn about that. So it's, uh, it's taken quite a while. Countdown. Now I have seen on Facebook, someone else installed this with no problem. So I had some confidence. And it's going to restart automatically. 1.40. There you go. Turn it up. Menu. Set. Others. Info. Ta da. Can't see any obvious difference right now. Not sure where to look for the DPD, but we'll have a quick look and then we'll end the video. Menu, let's go main, the tracking's on, let's turn that off. Uh, anything obvious there? Set. Aha! DPD. 760 single adjustment. I'm going to click no because I don't know what to do there. ICPW2 linked adjustment. There you are. So when we learn what we do with that, then we can have a play, but apparently it's very good. Otherwise, working great. Thanks for watching my channel, M0FXB YouTube.